In this um, video, we're going to um, try and solve a simple problem based um, on an initial question. The problem is centered around a, a type of material called elastics. Now elastics as well as being rubber bands can also be springs. The term elastic refers to the fact that when they are expanded or if there's a different type contracted and using a force and when the force is released it returns back to its original size and shape. So this would be a use of the word elastic that we would not be familiar with in 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 well, everyday life even and primary school. Okay. So rather than an elastic we're talking about using the term elastic as the, a descriptor of a type of material. Okay. So here we have a little spring. So we see that when we have a pull force, the, the spring expands. When we release, it goes back to its original size. The problem is, is that, well, if I um, hang some weights, it's just a paper clip that I've uh, pulled out. Okay, I use it as a hook. All right. So if I have um, some weights, uh, the weights I'm using are these um, bolt nuts. Okay, they're kind of chunky. And when I add this, there's one, the, I see that the spring has expanded slightly. Okay, now if I add a second one, that's twice the um, the weight. Is the expansion on the spring doubled? And if I add three, I see that the spring expands again. Is the expansion trebled? Okay. To answer this then we'll have to measure something and what we'll measure will be the length of the spring to see if um, to see if we can solve this problem so we also need okay, um, pen and paper we need a ruler and we need our weights okay so first thing is with no um, weights, so we write down zero for no weights, we're going to have then length in centimeters. Okay, so we put this up to the ruler, and the, the length of the spring with no weights is two centimeters. And then we add a weight, and we see what the length of the spring is and the length of the spring is gone up to two and a half centimeters and we're using of course informal units of weight because we're just using the counting the number of the, the nuts and we see that that's three centimeters. Now we're going to add three weights. And that's three and a half centimeters. And then four weights. find four point four 
five. Okay, I'll let those lie down there. So the next thing then we have to do is to plot, um, plot a graph of the results. Okay, and the way we do this is that we we plot the um, the weights here. One, two, three, four, five. We long a bottom, and the 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 length up the side and what will happen is is that we will get um, we will get a graph now what I'm going to do is just to draw a mock of, of a graph and what you should get is is a graph like this here are the, the axes, okay, and when you plot the graph, you should get a straight line. And it's a line that rises up from left to right. And what this means is, is that if you get a straight line, there is a relationship between the two variables. If it's a line that is increasing, okay, then the relationship is mutually positive, meaning that if you increase the weight, you are increasing the um, the length of the spring or or elastic in set quantities. Okay. Now, one question is: is why does it start here? Now, it starts there because um, the all, if we're measuring the length of the spring, of course, the spring starts off with its own length, which is what this is. This gap represents the length of the spring without any weights. And the increase every so often here is the is due to the adding of the weights. Okay. But that's not why. Um, so they can be um, a bit confusing when you draw this graph for children. But ultimately what we are doing here is is then we are producing a graphical image of the results so that the graphical image will then be able to communicate to others what has happened. So the key point being straight line refers to a direct positive relationship between the two variables. And the two variables are weight, number of weights, and length in centimetres.